Your heart needs to be strong to keep up. Flora, for a strong heart today. Radio and TV presenter Kula has always been passionate about her health and strives to live her best life. After she experienced a slight and unexpected health scare earlier this year, she's now paying even more attention to every heartbeat. So, Dr. Maggie, should South African women be concerned about their heart health? It's an absolute yes, because if we are not concerned, it will kill us. In actual fact, South African Heart Foundation uh, latest the statistics, it shows that one out of every four women are at risk of developing heart disease, and this compares with um, one out of 35 women developing breast cancer. So we can see heart health has become a, a big issue today in South Africa. How routinely should women check those risk factors for heart disease, and what are those risk factors? The genetic factors. Family history, very important. Uh, the history of uh, other medical diseases that uh, predisposes you to heart disease like diabetes, hypertension, obesity, smoking, stress, and other factors. When it comes to preventing heart disease, we recommend that you get to know your numbers through routine testing. These numbers include your cholesterol, blood pressure and blood sugar. You should keep a record of your results so that you can monitor any changes over time. Keeping your numbers in a healthy range and maintaining a healthy body weight does wonders for protecting your heart. Exercise, nutrition and other lifestyle factors also play an important role in keeping heart disease at bay. I don't have much experience with heart disease besides the scare that I had a few months ago, but it was scary enough to wake me up into going and getting it checked out. I was probably about a month before comrades and doing the bulk of my training so I found that during a 50k run about 30 k's into the run I just was struggling to breathe and I felt like I had to drop out of the race even walking seemed too much of a strain and it happened a few times and it got to the point where I was woken up in the middle of the night by chest pains when I wasn't even exercising and it's always better to go and get those checked out you know we're hearing more and more stories about younger athletes having heart attacks or heart problems so I went to a doctor I had all the ECG tests done, blood tests and they came back clear but it's better to know where you stand health wise and especially with your heart. Though cardiovascular disease is traditionally associated with older men, the reality is that heart disease kills more women each year. I probably train about five times a week, maybe six times in a busy week if I'm feeling energetic. I've always enjoyed exercise at school. I played quite a bit of sport. I did netball and hockey and so I've always enjoyed being fit but I'm finding the older I get, I'm 31 now, that your body does tend to slow down a little bit. So I enjoy staying in shape and I think that's my main reason for exercising. And also I do love cooking and I'm a bit of a chocoholic. So they kind of work out well together. I find I can eat more chocolate if I'm exercising more and I think that's quite a good deal. Every lifestyle decision you make does make a difference. Studies reveal that smokers and those living with diabetes are up to three times more likely to develop heart disease as they get older. Well, my fitness tip for ladies is I found that it's often good to be accountable to someone. So if you have a training partner, you're less likely to cancel your gym training sessions. You've got a commitment, you've got to meet someone at a certain time, and it's really good in terms of making sure you get out of bed on time or head to gym straight after work. And a combination of cardio and weight training is generally where people see the best results as well, so something to keep in mind. I really enjoy low GI foods and I find that those are good just in terms of keeping your blood sugar levels consistent. They're good for training as well. And you know, the thing is, I think to not be too hard on yourself for every few days of intensive training that you do, it's good to have a day or two's rest. Your body needs that as much as it needs the tough training. Regular, moderate exercise is not only a minimum requirement, it's good medicine. We should all aim to get our heart rates up for at least 30 minutes a day, most days of the week. So that's how I keep healthy. You've seen what my workout is. I do that about five times a week. And if I had to give my heart a score out of 10, I'd probably give it about a nine. Um, healthy mind, healthy lifestyle, good food, and great friends and family keep me happy. Your heart needs to be strong to keep up. Flora, for a strong heart today. I want to live the best life.